If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, Little House on the Road followers and subscribers. So today we, uh, we're coming from you from Tuskegee National Forest, and it's about two miles away from Tuskegee, uh, Alabama. Um, in Tuskegee, there is a lot of uh, shopping and restaurants. Uh, we're going to go and pick up some food today, some supplies. So, uh, it'll be the first time that we've done that since Florida. Uh, this is a free boondocking site, um, and there is nothing here. There's uh, uh, no water, no bathrooms. Um, you can get a trailer down here. They got 13 or 14 sites, and they're, they're little coves, huge coves. I say little, they're huge. Um, this one is probably the length of a football field and, oh, half the width of a football field. It's, it's a big one. But the thing is, you go right across from where we're at, on camp, we're at campsite 5, you go to campsite 11, and it's a park. It's huge. And so each individual gets their own little cove. Um, so there's uh, some RV camping, some tent camping. Uh, and you do have to get a permit, but the permit was relatively easy to get. You go to the district office before you, uh, you come out to the campsite. You go to the district office, which is about two miles away. And I'll put the coordinates on so you can, uh, you can have it. But you go to the district office. You give them an ID, they want your cell phone number in case there's a problem. Uh, they give you a business card in case you have a problem. And they give you directions to your campsite. It's uh, very nice. Uh, maybe a little inconvenient, you can't just come out here. But keeps the area nice, they know the people are tracking them. Um, very little traffic comes up and down the road. And I think we've seen one car pass this, this campsite since last yesterday we got here about two o'clock yesterday and it's uh it's about 11 now um, and once again it is absolutely incredible to me how this works you go to more established campsites they have maybe we're running water somewhere that you can get water has a bathroom or a privy uh you know more established you struggle and struggle and struggle to get cell service internet service here, out here in the middle of nowhere, nothing going on, no one around, 4G AD, at and and 4G T-Mobile. It's great. So anyway, I'm going to give you a walk around, let you see some of the sites, uh, and stay tuned. Make sure you stay towards the end, because I always try to put some nice pictures up, and uh, I always hope that you guys watch them. Uh, anyway, be sure to subscribe right down here. Uh, you can follow our pop-up adventures, um, and we really would appreciate your support. Click like if you like the video, and we'll see you next time. So, this is camp uh, site number five, and it's just tucked away in its own little cove. Lots of room, and each one of these coves are huge, so you get plenty of privacy. We had a choice between campsite 5 and campsite 11. Campsite 11 is this one. Huge. 16 campers could fit up here. Guess which one we chose? 5. We chose it before we knew how awesome this one was. You know, we just had to make a choice. So, now you have my video, and when you come here, you'll know to choose 11 if you get that option. It has an opportunity to see the type of road you would have to go traverse to get these individual campsites. Now, these individual campsites are pretty nice. You know, I just showed you 11. And I showed you 5.
but I don't know. I suppose a full-size RV could come up here, but if you had to turn around for any reason, that would be a challenge. I was a little worried even with the pop-up.